Hey, Psych2Goers. Does it seem impossible to reach your dreams and goals? Whether it's milestones in your career, relationship, or personal life, success can mean different things to each person and can touch on various parts of your life. But as a general rule, success should be a goal that fulfills and brings you joy rather than one imposed on you by external expectations. But sometimes the road to success can be a long and slow one. So to help you get there faster, here are some habits you can develop to become more successful. Number one, become proactive, not passive. Do you find yourself regretting an opportunity that's passed? To become successful, you must learn to become more proactive in your life. Successful people have a strong sense of control over how they interact with their environment. According to human behavior professor, Melody Wilding, successful people have an inborn sense of personal responsibility for the actions they do whether positive or negative. These people share a strong internal locus of control, and they're able to recognize that their efforts are parallel to where they are in life. Number two, starting with the end goal in mind. Are you easily distracted or are you well composed and focused? If you get distracted often, you may lose sight of your goals and take the more long-winded path to success. It's important here to remember that success can be multiple things, if you wanna be a world-class chef and an experienced traveler, you can take steps to progress towards both areas. But if you find yourself jumping from one area to another with no rhyme or reason, it may be time to sit down and reflect on what success really means to you. Knowing what you truly want can make the result much more fulfilling. Number three, watch over your body. Do you think about your physical health when goal setting? According to psychologist Ron Friedman, Exercise has a larger impact on your productivity than you may think. Not only does it boost your physical health, but there are cognitive benefits that increase your chances of attaining success as well. Some of these benefits include improved concentration, faster learning, and enhanced creativity. You don't have to slog through an exercise routine that you dislike from the start. You can begin by doing simple things like taking a walk and doing yoga, then working up from there. Number four, Surrounding yourself in a circle that inspires you to be better. Does your inner circle of friends inspire you to be a better person or do they do the opposite? Who you surround yourself with plays a big role in who you are. Your closest friends and mentors increase your sense of belonging and also offer guidance and advice when you're feeling stuck. By keeping in touch with people who give value to your life and avoiding people who are bad for your well-being you'll be at an ideal headspace to tackle your goals and dreams more readily. Number five, hone your craft every day. Are you ready to endure times of hardship before reaching a chance of success? While some may have a natural talent to excel or have access to certain privileges that give them a head start, even the best at the field still have to put in the hours every day to make it far. Someone who is naturally gifted but lazy can fall behind the average person who practices their craft every day. One way to boost your productivity is by employing the Pomodoro technique, where you work nonstop for 25 minutes and then rest for five minutes and then repeat. And number six, don't make excuses. Do you know someone who blames others or makes excuses when they can't solve a problem? When stuck in a bad place, some people may throw their hands up in the air and wait for someone to help them. This attitude and thinking can limit your potential and drive a wedge between you and your goals. So instead, if the idea of something terrifies you, try to move past your fear and worry and tackle the problem. Trust yourself to get through it and accept whatever outcome that comes your way. Create solutions, not excuses. Do you practice any of the habits we've mentioned? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.